first session this morning, we're going to hear from some colleges and some universities about their energy-related programs and research. So uh, first up this morning, I'd like to introduce the folks from, from, from Colorado Mountain College. And we have uh, Stuart Clark is the professor of their applied engineering. And uh, he will inter I'll let him introduce his students that are going to talk to you briefly about what they're doing to learn about energy and to get gainful employment in the oil and gas industry via education at Colorado Mountain College. So Stuart Clark um, has, a, has a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Arizona State University. He has extensive uh, real world experience in oil and gas. Uh, worked for Bechtel Bettis, working for the Department of the United States Naval Nuclear Program. And he's also worked in the oil and gas industry here in Colorado. And you can see a full uh, bio and information about Stuart uh, in our program. And hopefully you all have become very familiar with our nice booklet that we made for you. We have the bios for, for all of our speakers. So with that, Stuart, I will let you go right to it. And then we'll see if you watch it. Good morning. Um, I'm Stuart Clark, a professor at Colorado Mountain College, as uh, Kirby, Kirby noted there. And um, my, I just want to share an experience I had this morning. My, my wife goes to work really early in the morning. And so later this morning after she went to work, I called her and told her I was going to come here and uh, speak at the hospital to the, the um, Energy and Environmental Symposium. And she said, is there going to be a lot of people there? Oh, oh. okay, sorry. And uh, she said, um, oh, no, you're not going to talk a lot in front of a bunch of people, are you? And I said, yes, I am. She said, oh, no, because you sound like a robot when you do so. So if you will uh, raise your hand if I start to sound like a robot. And uh, hopefully the power suggestion is not going to come true this morning. Um, I'm fairly new to Colorado Mountain College, and I, I came from the oil and gas industry, as uh, Kirby mentioned. And I work in a new department that we rebranded called the Applied Engineering Technician Department. In our department, we have an emphasis on oil and gas and other renewable energies. And I brought with, uh, with me this morning some of our students from Colorado Mountain College. And I want to I tell you right up front, our students work full time and they go to school full time. And it's a, it's a pleasure for me to be around them. Actually, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be involved with, uh, with adult learning. What I want to talk to you a little bit about today is how to teach adult students and how to prepare them for a career in the oil and gas industry or the energy, energy industry. And Hopefully you can take that back to your communities, some of the things that I'm going to share, uh, because our students are very similar to the students in your own backyards. And I want to say right up front that it's important that we have money for our programs. However, money is not the main thing to make a program successful. In uh, training facilities and in, in colleges, we spend a lot of time filling out paperwork and applying for government grants and asking industry for money, which is important. But that's not the main thing that we need to be successful. Let me share a little story with you. A couple of months ago, a training facility for the, the country of Abu Dhabi in the Middle East, they came to Colorado Mountain College to the Rifle Campus. And they wanted to explore the things that we were doing in our program and they wanted to share with us some of the things that they were doing in Abu Dhabi. And just a few years ago in Abu Dhabi, they decided that they wanted to train people from Abu Dhabi to work for their state run or government oil and gas company. And so Abu Dhabi had a pretty big budget for their, their training program. And so they, they went throughout the world to find the very best oil and gas training programs, the very get best trainers, and the very best equipment. Then they build a building around that equipment, and they started to produce graduates to go to work for the state oil and gas company. 
And almost immediately, the, the state oil and gas company said, please don't send us any more of your students, your graduates. We've, uh, we've been operating for years from the best people from around the world, and we're happy with what we have. And, this, and the, the state school said, but we're the, we're the state school. You should use our graduates. And, they, and the, the state company said, I'm sorry. Your students know a lot about theory and book work, but they're not a, they're not a very good help for us in, in our industry. So the school said, let's sit down and talk about this. And they did that. And they said, what are we lacking? And they said, well, first of all, we would like you, your students to train on our equipment, our, our three-phase separators, and our pumps, and our valves, and our pipe spec, and our CO2 membrane units. We want you to train with our equipment, our communication systems, and the things that we use. But well, anyway, to make a long story short, the, they found out right away that it wasn't the, the amount of money that they spent on, on programs. It was really that they needed to coordinate with industry and that they needed to have the leadership to change the curriculum uh, to make their programs successful. And that's what we're doing at Colorado Mountain College. We're actually, um, we have an industry advisory board. Uh, we have a number of, um, we're a number of industries represented locally on that board. And we're taking that information, rewriting our curriculum and training our students. Um, this equipment in, on this slide was donated from Incana, one of our local operators. And to train on this equipment, we have a lead from Vanguard, um, Dustin Miller, who's going to provide the training for our students in oil and gas on the uh, Incana donated equipment. Um, this is an old trainer that we've had in our program for a long time. But I want you to notice the touch screen, the human machine interface on the front of the trainer. This is, uh, it's the latest um, equipment that's, that we're using in industry. It's what uh, we have at Enterprise and at our, at our gas plants and different places in our own valley. And our students are learning how to create not only the touch screen, but the, uh, to program the PLC uh, behind, the, behind the trainer. We, we, uh, we start our students off with uh, real-world skills like how to turn three-phase motors on, how to wire, um, wire up motor controls and that type of thing, variable speed drives. But let me let you hear from our students. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Mr. Charles Mwamba. And he, each one of our students is going to take about a, about a minute to tell, the, the, tell you a little bit about themselves and about why the program's helping them to be successful. Uh, thank you for having me here. My name is Charles Mwamba. Uh, I moved from Africa in 2000. Uh, I lived in Glenwood for like a year, or a year and a half. And then I moved on here to Rifle. Uh, currently, I work for the Colorado Mountain News Media, the printing facility in Gypsum. And uh, I work full time, I have a family, of my own here, I, my wife and uh, two kids. I, li I like the mountain lifestyle. But um, this program, I think, uh, offers a great uh, opportunity for people like me and the rest of my crew here who are in the industry, who are in the field work and then trying to like change careers. I think it's a great opportunity that we get to work with uh, experienced professionals like Professor Stewart, who have a lot of experience in the industry. They teach us a lot of stuff, and uh, we get a lot of hand-on training. Small class sizes offers a great deal of like opportunity to train and get to get a lot of experience out of that. And uh, overall, Colorado Mountain College is a great school and I think it's great curriculum they have and uh, the faculty has been great to me and I welcome the opportunity of you guys coming to pay us a visit anytime and see what we're doing and thank you once again for the opportunity to let us introduce ourselves and uh, hopefully we look forward to joining you guys in the industry soon thank you Uh, the, our next speaker from the college will be Chrissy Bow. 
Um, thank you for having us today. My name is Chrissy Bow. I am one of five siblings out of Silk, Colorado. I was born and raised. And I worked two jobs and recently got engaged. And I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do in life. So I went into the applied engineering program. And Stuart Clark started to be the head of the department. And it's made us all feel very comfortable and opened a lot of doors for us. This is uh, Luis Pena. Um, yeah, my name is Luis Pena. Um, I, was, I was born in Mexico, but raised in Parachute all my life. Uh, my parents always pushed me to um, strive for success and continue to uh, further my education to become as successful as I can be. Um, and this program has allowed me uh, tremendous opportunities, and um, I've gained a lot of knowledge from it that uh, I believe will be helpful for the future. So um, thanks for having us again. We're running out of time. This is uh, Barbara Bow. Good morning. Um, my name is Barbara Bow. I am a lifelong resident of Rifle, Colorado. I have five children and have raised them solely on my own. I went through some difficult times after we started our journey and decided I needed to pursue an education. I work two jobs and have four children that have attended Colorado Mountain College. Three of them are currently still actively taking classes along with myself. Uh, this program is awesome. Stewart's uh, experience in the field, has he's brought a lot of that into the classroom so we have more of an understanding. And I look forward to someday seeing my peers and my children out in the f workforce. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Holliday. <clears throat> I come from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I actually uh, born on the United States Air Force Academy. I'm a third generation Colorado. My uh, grandfather came here after World War One. My dad's a World War II veteran. And that's why <clears throat> we settled in Colorado Springs, military town. Anyways, I'm happy to be here today. I worked construction for years in Colorado Springs, Denver, in the mountains, worked here in Aspen back in the 80s, and um, after years of construction, had, uh, had some injuries that uh, uh, limited my work, so I had to decide to change what I was doing, and uh, also I was a single parent, and um, so I decided to go to school and went to Red Rocks Community College, one of the foremost um, schools in the United States, and uh, gradu graduated there with a uh, Associates of General Studies degree, and I uh, wanted to pursue my process technology, and this is the only school that's still open in Colorado. I don't know if anybody knows that, but the other ones have been shut down due to budget cuts. Um, so I'm glad that there's still a school that we can, you know, we can have the opportunity to learn at, and uh, I went through a lot to, to be here, if time doesn't permit. Anyways, um, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be at the school, and Stuart's a great professor. Hey, we just appreciate the opportunity that uh, is provided here. Thank you. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Um, our, our program has certificates for oil and gas, alternative energy, those types of things, and we also have an associate's degree, and we've, um, we're just in the approval process of a, a four-year bachelor's of science. Does anyone have any questions for our students?